Good day everyone. Today we will discuss about the inverse of one-to-one -one functions. Quarter 1, Moodle 12. Before that, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Let us recall about function. If you can recall, a function, it can be a one-to-one -one or many-to-one. One-to-one, -to -one, example, we have a linear function and exponential function, while many to one, we have quadratic function, cubic function, and other polynomial function. So, today we will discuss about the inverse of the given function. So, if we have a one-to-one -one correspondence, the inverse of this is also a one-to-one -one correspondence. It only means that a linear function and exponential function, if we're going to find its inverse, it's still a function. While many to one, the inverse of this is a one to many. It means that the inverse of many to one correspondence are not a function anymore since it will become a one to many. Therefore, quadratic function, cubic function, and other polynomial functions, the inverse of these functions are not function anymore. Let us focus our discussion about the inverse function. What is an inverse function? Let f be one to one function, whose domain is a set of a and the range be the set of b. Then, the inverse of f denoted by f raised to negative 1, so this is the symbol of an inverse function, is a function with the domain b and range a. Let us now consider a function f of x is equal to x plus 5. Let us now create a table of values of this function. So you have observed that the domains are negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, while the range are 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, our concern is we're going to find the inverse of the given function. Now, let us now use the table of values to find the inverse of the given function. Now, since we're talking about the inverse at this time, the, from the given function f of x, the domain will become the range of the given of the inverse function. So therefore, the elements of range are negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. While the range of the given functions are the domain of its, of its inverse. The, in, the elements of the domain are 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you have observed that we interchanged the domain and range. The domain of the given function is the range of its inverse, while the range of the given function is the domain of its inverse. Now the question is, what is the inverse of the given function? Or that will satisfy to the given table of values of its inverse. Okay, let us now find out its inverse. But before Okay, so we have steps in finding the inverse of a function. Step 1, change f of x to y. Step 2, interchange x and y variables. Step 3, solve for y in terms of x. Let us now find the inverse of the given function. So, let us do step number one, 
we will change f of x to y. Since the given function f of x is equal to x plus 5, we will now change f of x to y. So we have y is equal to x plus 5. Step 2. Interchange x and y variables. Again, we will only interchange the x and y variables. So we have x is equal to y plus 5. So you have observed that our y will become x and our x will become y. Then, step number 3, solve for y in terms of x. So we're now going to find the value of y. To do this, you have observed that x is equal to y plus 5, so we will now transpose positive 5 on the other side so that we can find the value of y. So we have x minus 5 is equal to y. Or we can also write this as y is equal to x minus 5. Then we will now change y to the symbol of an inverse, which is the inverse function is x minus 5. So this is now the inverse of the given function which is f of x is equal to x plus 5. Let us now try another example. Find the inverse of f of x is equal to 3x minus 2. Step number 1, change f of x to y. So we have f of x, we will change this to y. So we have y is equal to 3x minus 2. Step number 2, interchange x and y variables. So we have x is equal to 3y minus 2. You have observed that we did not include the numerical coefficient of each variable. Then we'll now proceed to step number t. Solve for y in terms of x. So we will now transpose negative 2 on the other side of our equation. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 3y. Then, to find the value of y, we need to arrange this, or it is just the same as 3y is equal to x plus 2. Then, we will divide both sides of our equation by the coefficient of y, which is positive 3. So, we will divide 3 both sides of our equation. So, we have y is equal to x plus 2 all over 3. So since we already have the value of y, we will now change this to the uh, symbol of inverse. So we have the inverse function is x plus 2 all over 3. So that is now the inverse of the given function. Example number 3. Find the inverse of h of x is equal to x plus 1 all over 5. Step number 1. So we need to change h of x to y. So we have y is equal to x plus 1 all over 5. Step number 2. Interchange x and y. So we have x is equal to y plus 1 all over 5. You have observed that in the right side of our equation, there is a denominator of 5. So to do the step number 3, which is to solve for y in terms of x, we need to multiply both sides of our equation by the denominator, which is 5. So multiply both sides by 5, then simplify. So we have 5x is equal to y plus 1, since we can cancel out 5 in the right side of our equation. Then, we will now transpose positive 1 on the other side. So we have 5x minus 1 is equal to y. Or it is just the same as y is equal to 5x minus 1. We will now change y to the symbol of inverse function, which is the inverse function of h of x is 5x minus 1. So that is now the inverse of the given function. Property of an inverse of a one-to-one -one function. 
Given a one-to-one -one function f of x and its inverse, then the following are true. The inverse of an inverse function is a function. The composition of a function and its inverse is x for all x in the domain of the inverse function. The composition of an inverse function and the given function is x for all x in the domain of the given function. Challenge problem. Show that f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 1 all over 3 are inverse functions. Okay, to show that the two functions are inverse, says, so we need to use a composition of function. So we have f of g of x. So we have the outer function, which is the f of x, and the inner function, which is the g of x. So substitute, we have 3 times x plus 1 all over 3 minus 1. Cancel 3. So we have f of g of x is equal to x plus 1 minus 1. Then combine like terms. So we have f of g of x is equal to x. You have observed that the result is x. Therefore, we can say that f of x and g of x are inverses of each other. So therefore, it is true that f of x and g of x are inverse functions. Or you can also use the g of f of x. So in which the g of x is the outer function and f of x is the inner function. So by substituting the values, we have 3x minus 1 plus 1 all over 3. So you have observed that we can combine like terms first, negative 1 plus 1 to simplify this expression here or uh, the right side of our equation. So we have g of f of x is equal to 3x over 3 and you can still simplify this so g of f of x is equal to x so you have observed that the result is still x so we can say that f of x and g of x are inverses of each other